Hi guys, this is Avril Kifren. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your performance slash FPS uh, on the new Microsoft Forza Apex 6. Uh, so yes, for sure you can change your setting inside of the game, but you have more option uh, if you go to uh, the user config file. So to see this file, you have to go to your drive, user, uh, the name of your user, app data, local, package, Microsoft Apex, PG, blah, 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 AC, temp, turn 10, temp, dot, scratch. Um, so this is this place to, to find the file. The file is the name of the file is user config. You open this with your notepad. Make sure to see uh, your ape data to uh, to uh, put the view to all of your file on the Windows option and uh, make sure you uncheck the I hidden file because ape data is hidden on your computer by default. So let's start with this. This is the file. All the selection that you have in game are there. So uh, if you want to change something, dynamic render quality, performance, etc., you can change all the dynamic by ultra, high, medium, or low. Uh, here. You should, if you want to keep like a really nice graphic and a good performance, uh, if I were you, you just change your shallow quality. Uh, if you have a bad computer, for example, put this at low. Uh, also mirror quality, uh, you can put this at low. Depth of field, you can reduce that too. Uh, a couple reflection quality, that one, it will affect a lot your FPS. So that one, you can uh, change it. And uh, yeah, that's about it for uh, all those uh, in-game settings that you can change. For sure, you can change everything. Uh, you, you just have to test it. But if like, I'm just telling you which one you can change and have a pretty decent uh, improvement without too much uh, impacting your graphic quality. So shadow, uh, even particle resolution, mirror quality, um, depth of field. Uh, yeah, and reflection quality. Uh, for example, if you go to high to low, you will probably gain 15 to 20 FPS. So that's a lot. So depending if you have, a, I don't know, a laptop or a pretty old computer, you should definitely look at this. The other part that you can see in this in game, it's uh, the private setting that you can change by yourself. So uh, a lot of stuff you can change. First of all, frame rate. I did a test with 90 because the game is like... 60. I'm not even sure if it's working because my uh, frag program doesn't uh, trigger the, the number of FPS when I open the game. That's weird. I will need to make more tests about this. But uh, yeah, you can change a lot of stuff. Particle and mirror, for example, you can put the value at zero. Uh, collide shadow, and right now it's at zero. Night self shadowing, you can put zero. So each time you see one, it's because it's up uh, on the game. So just Put that at zero, and uh, you will uh, improve uh, your performance because it will you will remove some effect. For sure, it will impact your graphic quality. But you you can definitely make some tests over there, and uh, that's a that's a good thing because uh, all those options are not available necessarily inside of the game. So uh, you can change it by yourself to have like more precise options that you want to remove. So if you have any question, guys, uh, just comment in the YouTube section. Uh, of the video I will respond to you and give you an answer and also uh, if you have question about like your rig in the game just poke, post your full rig CPU GPU etc etc and I will answer with the, the, my knowledge so uh, that's about it and uh, don't forget to subscribe ciao guys bye bye